All right. Our next presenter is a gentleman, Al Lynch, who's manager of waste reduction for the North Shore Recycling Program in North Vancouver, British Columbia. Now, he's responsible for all waste reduction and recycling programs for the city of North Vancouver. And since 1990, he's written an integrated solid waste plan, implemented curbside recycling programs for all single and multifamily homes, established a community outreach, a comprehensive, excuse me, community outreach program, and staffed recycling drop-off depots. His programs have pushed the municipalities he serves into the top spot for recycling in the region. For some reason, he's here to explain why recycling isn't sexy. <laughs> Sounds like he made it that way somewhere. <laughs> Al Lynch. Thanks, Sean. Well, I guess we're ready. Recycling isn't sexy. It's not hip, it's not rad, it's not hot, it's not cool, it's not dope, man. <laughs> Will recycling really save the world? Who knows? Who cares? When Earth Day was founded on April the 1st, 1970, most people didn't recycle. Those that did were commonly known, or commonly referred to as tree huggers, leaf lickers, or Birkenstockers. But as time went on, recycling became more mainstream. In the late 1980s and early 90s, the government got involved and they decided to get into recycling. So they, uh, they hired a guy to get a program on the road. And it was a great idea, but would this guy motivate you? Would you buy a used car from this man? <laughs> what was really needed was a superhero. And there he was. Captain Recycling. <laughs> All dressed up and ready to save the world. Now he was everywhere. He went to schools, <laughs> parades, community events. He got his photo in the newspaper. He even won a Halloween costume contest. He promoted the heck out of recycling and he got people involved. The recycling in all its variations, reduction, reuse, composting, is important. So why? It conserves resources, saves energy, and creates jobs. And it can even save money. Now, recycling can make a big difference. Do you know that more than 75% of our waste at home can be recycled or composted? We just need to figure out the best way to do it. Now, our regional district has a goal of diverting 70% 70%, there we go, of the region's waste through recycling, composting, and other programs by 2015. Now, we're going to get there because we're at 55% now, and with organics, we'll get there sooner than we think. Even the U.S. Senate has figured out that burying and burning our waste isn't the only way to go. They have introduced a recycling resolution that talks about how recycling saves energy, creates and sustains uh, well-paying jobs, and stimulates the economy. Backyard composting is the most effective and environmentally easy way, friendly way, to manage the organic waste your home produces, transforming your trash into treasure. A single household can compost over a thousand pounds of kitchen organics and yard trimmings per year. Now, most cities save money by recycling and composting. For us, recycling costs are half that for collecting and disposing of garbage. Now, how hard is it really to recycle? I mean, it doesn't take a genius. You separate the paper, the bottle, the can, you know, the food scraps, the yard trimmings. No sweat. I mean, tell you, you know what? Even a rocket scientist can figure that out. <laughs> How many of you knew that John was a rocket scientist as well as an engineer? Not too many, I don't think. But John knows how to recycle. Now, composting, it really isn't so hard to do either. You let the worms do all the work, and you won't have to buy any fertilizer. As you can tell, we have really, really big worms in Canada. So. Now, to be, to be successful in waste reduction and recycling, you have to make it fun. So you can invite your neighbors to a tea party, or even better, a wine and cheese party, where they can learn more about recycling and composting, and get to know each other better. Now, getting kids on side 
is really a big deal. It's huge for us. We have a lot of school programs. So making it interesting doesn't have to be serious or boring. Learning how to do the right thing can be a lot of fun, and we put a lot of effort into that. Now, I've been told that grandparents can't be trusted for objectivity, but I think my granddaughters are pretty cute, don't you? <laughs> so Kayla, Kyan, and Parker and their friends are our future. Is this their future? It doesn't have to be. Is it going to be the same old, same old? I sure hope not. So what are we going to do to make sure it isn't? So where is your Captain Recycling? Walk away with the mic.